Visits to the Agal International Airport continue unabated as Vincentians at home and abroad up their interest in this, the country's largest ever capital project. Vincentians at home, including the schools, are making use of every opportunity to visit the site. And for those living in the diaspora, a visit to the Argyle Airport site is now a must-do whenever they are visiting at home. Not only is the interest in the airport being manifested through visits to the site, but the incentions in the diaspora continue to give tangible support through monetary contributions, as we had recently from the Trinity Methodist Church in Brooklyn, New York. Good day all. I am standing here with the Honorable Selman Walters. He is the Consul General of St. Vincent and the Grenadines to New York. And he has come to visit us here at the Agal International Airport site on a very honorable mission. It seems folks are still donating to the Agal International Airport and folks in the diaspora as well as folks here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Today he's going to be making a donation to us on behalf of some kind folks in the diaspora and I'm going to give him a chance to tell us all about it. Mr. Waters? Good day to you and welcome to the airport site. Good day Jennifer and thank you. When was the last time you visited us? The airport site? Uh, over a year ago. Over a year ago? Yes, that is true. So you see we have a lot of more progress, right? Yeah, just that. The progress is tremendous. I'm really, really happy about it, yes. Okay. Now you're here to make a donation on behalf of some folks in New York. Can you tell us who they are and tell us a little bit about them? Well, actually this donation of $5,100 US is from the Trinity Methodist Church in Brooklyn, New York. They are located on Eastern Parkway uh, in Brooklyn. The church is headed by Pastor Pastor Darwin Grant, who is Vincentian. Uh, the church is basically Vincentians. Prominent Vincentian in that church, like Sister Karen Childs, who is hails from Cedars. Uh, Sister Prince also, and uh, Vona Douglas, who is from Leu. The Ex-Teachers Association had a symposium in the church where we debated the merits or the merits of the Argyle International Airport and I was the lead spokesman on the merits of the International Airport and at the end of that discussion I challenged the church to put their hand and their mouths and their monies together and make a contribution. They didn't say anything but later on they took it up and they organized a dinner and I was told by Pastor Grant that whatever is raised from the dinner will be handed over to the, to the airport authority. So I said fine go ahead and they organized a dinner and the dinner raised 5,100 US in profit and the check was handed to me for you and I was told Mr. Walters whenever you go to St. Vincent hand this over on our behalf so today Jennifer I'm handing over to you a check for 5,100 US on behalf of the Trinity Methodist Church in Brooklyn New York and I can say that there are more organizations in Brooklyn who are going to make donations and I'm going to urge them to do so. I want to hand it over to me. I'm going to hand it over to you. Thank you very much. And I want you to know that it's 5,100 US, not EC, US. That is quite a sizable donation. So we want to thank the Trinity Methodist Church for its donation to the Agal International Airport. And please convey to them our appreciation, our thank you, and let them know that every single dollar counts when every it comes to the construction of this Agal International mm -hmm. Airport and for us it is more the support that we appreciate yes mm -hmm. we want the money mm -hmm. but by them giving us the money it tells us that they are in complete support of this project so that they can hand over money to see its completion and that kind of support is what we really cherish let, let me say to Jennifer that the project has tremendous support in the diaspora the anti agal International Airport in the diaspora has waned significantly and you will have roughly about 90 to 95% support in the diaspora for the completion of the project. I, I was shocked at the symposium at the church when one of the lead presenters who was criticizing the airport project said he wanted to be on the first flight. And there are so many people who want to be on the first flight. There's a very sizable Garifuna population in New York and a lot of them want to be on the first flight. So we have to get the project completed. I'm going to urge more people to support the project financially. 
let's get it completed and let all of us be on the first flight. Well, you want to know something? That first flight will not be able to hold all the people who want to be on the first flight. So I am, I am suggesting that they organize a number of flights for the first day. So they could say, listen, we came in on the first day. Day Every flight because that came in on the first day is the first, is the first flight. Yes, okay, first flight. all right. Every flight that comes in on the first day is, is the first, first flight. flight. Okay, that's a new one yes, for me. Yes, <laughs> yes, that's good. So we we want to thank them again, and, and and I appreciate you know what you're saying about the support mm -hmm. increasing and, and and being so so great now for the international airport because I'm telling you people hear so many negative things and it is a struggle it really is hard work trying to combat all of this negative that you hear and you wonder why a people would want to be tearing down its own thing rather than trying to build it up well, I tell and you something, then. when we had this symposium at the church a gentleman who was there he was from St. Lucia and he listened carefully and he got up in the end and he chastised those who were criticizing the airport he said but were you also stupid you can't develop a small country without air access and the PM has to be congratulated. You are stopping the nonsense. And he just put them to silence. Yeah. You know, and even those who are not intentions felt it was very, very bad of those who have intentions, who are negative on the airport. But those who are negative on the airport, a certain portion of them want to be in the first flight. <laughs> Something is wrong. I guess they, 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 they would they would be convinced when they're on the flight okay. that yeah. So they're just making sure so they're gonna be on the flight. Yeah. So Thanks again, hats off to the, the, the Trinity Methodist Church and we want to just thank them so much from the, from the depths of our heart. Okay. On behalf of every one of us at IADC, mm -hmm. give them our thank you and we will also send them a thank you note yeah. so that they know that you delivered, delivered. and we are appreciative. And they will see it if you put it on your house. Vincentians at home also continue to raise funds for the Argyle Airport project, as is evident by the organizing of another fundraising effort being coordinated by Returning Nationals SVG. This year, the group will again stage what has now become their annual fundraising Christmas dinner and dance on November 29th at Bronx Building at Spring Estate. All proceeds from this dinner will go toward the construction of the Argyle International Airport. If you are interested in supporting this effort, tickets are already out and available from any member of Returning Nationals SVG. Or you can check me, Jennifer, at the IADC. In the meantime, if you're interested in visiting the site, you can give us a call at 458-0333 to make the arrangements. Also, you can continue to make monetary contributions to the project at the Bank of SVG account number 200884. Until next time, good night.